Welcome back to the h2extreme.com workshop. Um, just a couple things to point out real quick. Um, we got three of these units with my electrodes set up in them. Um, they're ran in series. Three of them. And um, I'm producing 1.5 liters a minute on under 300 watts. And um, as you can see, all my connections go through the water and not at the top. Um, just a safety precaution that I took. Um, it seems to me like running the power up here, um, you can get your connections can become weak hot or any other dangerous situation that might occur it's not safe um, you can do it however you want but I wouldn't recommend running your electricity through the gas I would keep it in the water um, not that you've ever had a problem with the way you do it it's just common sense to take every extra precaution that you can um, just like adding a bubbler which is what I did here. Um, I am running three units, so I do not want a flashback for sure. Um, anyway, I'm going to give you a demonstration of my torch again with the 017 tip and the 022 tip. Let me take this 022 off. I'll show you the 017 first. And basically, I'm showing you this because a lot of people had questions um, of what tip to use to produce 1.5 to 2 liters a minute. Well, this is your perfect tip for that. Uh, there's a lot of people producing that amount of gas and are, are interested in this. This is the tip you need. Um, if you're producing more than 2 liters, I would recommend the O22. Um, it still works at 1.5 liters, even one liter. It's just the 017 tip works a lot better. The flame's a lot more concentrated. It's easier to concentrate your heat. Um, so basically, I'm gonna fire up my generator here, and um, it's already fired up. It's just under pressure because we got a pressure switch. So it's hard to see that flame in the light, um, but I tried doing this video with it dark and it's just not cutting it. You guys would have been complaining that you can't see anything. So basically I'm going to heat up this piece of brass, very thick piece of brass, and, and show you just how quick we can actually melt sold solder to it. Basically, it should be in no time heated up hot enough to melt that. See that? And I use this torch all the time to build these torches. I have to silver solder the compression fitting on, so um, this is what I use, and it actually really works good, as you can tell. If you try to use a propane torch on that, you'd probably get a lot of residue this is clean folks it's there's no residue on there it really works good I you see me solder that without any flux and that's just uh, really good okay and um, we got these little tiny nails and they just they just disintegrate they're 18 gauge nail that just sparkles like fireworks okay I'm gonna go ahead and change this tip over to the 022 give you some demonstration of that it just screws right off of there and 
to give you a demonstration of my uh, um, flashback system. If I had a lighter, there it is. Basically, this is all stuffed with bronze wool. I showed you on my other videos. I'm going to show you again. Stuffed with bronze wool. If it wasn't, I wouldn't do this. See, no flashback. It doesn't flash back into here. You're never going to have a problem with that. Okay, and our O2-2 tip. I'm going to go ahead and fire that up. Okay, and because the holes get small on, on these, um, they do require some cleaning every now and again. That's why I use these uh, wire brush bristles just to poke in the hole to clean them out if it needs it. Um, this is the O2-2 tip. You can see it'll... If you're, if you're producing three liters a minute, this is probably the tip you're looking for. And at three liters a minute, you'd, you'd be able to pretty much weld small stuff like these here washers without any problem. And uh, you can get three liters a minute with what I have here. Just double up the system. Basically, I just welded that washer right to that center block. See the molten metal there, molten to the rock. It's really hard to see these flames in the light, but they, there's a nice flame on there. I mean, I, I'm, I'm burning myself at that distance for sure. It's hot. Um, but uh, like I said, I had to do this in the light to give you guys a better demonstration and so you could see my generator and everything there. And uh, how it works, as you can see, we're right at 300, 320 watts, give or take. If you can see that on the camera, I don't know. But anyway, that's that and uh, thanks for watching.